Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to propagate jade in few different ways by stem cutting and from the leaf cutting. Stay tuned. To take cutting, I'm using this plant right here. First, I'm going to remove uh, this leaf and I use knife. You can clean it before make the cut. Just like that, this stem right here. First method is to propagate in water. You can just take some water in any glass uh, vase or small cups, whatever you can find, uh, nothing too big. And then you can take the leaves, put them in here. Make sure the bottom of the leaf is under water, not the whole leaf. You can add another one in there, just like that. And same with the stem. Just put it in water, like that. Make sure you keep topping up the water and also change the water once a week. That's really important. You will see roots starting to grow in few weeks. Second method is to propagate in soil. For leaf propagation, you can take some soil in a bowl, tray, or anything you have. Just fill it up with dry soil. Regular potting mix is fine. You don't need a special soil for this. And just place the leaves on top of the soil, just like that. Just press it. You don't need to put them inside the soil. After this, you can mist it just a little bit, and then you can mist every day, and then they will start growing roots in few weeks. What I like to do is, I like to cover it up. I'm using this plate to cover this up, or if you have a lid or anything like that. I do it because that way you don't have to mist it every day if you're busy, because sometimes you can forget and then they will dry up. It is suggested that you let it callus over. In other words, you let it heal to prevent rotting. For the stems, what you can do, you can place them in dry soil. I have a dry soil in a pot like this. You can just push it in here, just like that. That's why I like to keep these leaves because they support the plant and then it stays in its position. And then you can just leave it like that and not water it for a few days and then it'll heal inside the soil because it's not wet. And once it's few days, what you can do, put it in a bowl like this. I like to bottom water them so you're not disturbing the plant. Just add some water. Place this on top of it. This is the best way to water them because that way it doesn't disturb the plant and it still get the moisture from the bottom. What I like to do is after propagating, I just keep this pot in this bowl. So whenever it's dry, I just add water in the bowl. It's really important after you propagate, you make sure the soil stays moist for a few weeks. Keep all your propagations in bright indirect light until they are established. In few weeks, they will start growing roots and also start growing these little baby plants. You just have to be patient and keep misting and keep an eye on it. I would like to show you this plant over here. As you can see, it has a lot of sunburn on its leaves. What happened was I propagated and then a few weeks later I moved it outside in the sun and it got sunburn. So make sure to wait for four to six weeks or when it's fully established, then you can move it in full sunlight. Once these leaves have formed little babies like this one here, you can leave it in here for longer until they are a few inches tall and then you can transfer them in the soil. But what I like to do, once they have little roots, I just like to cut it. Just pretty close here. And then I pop this in here in this pot just gently push it in and that's all you need to do 
then you can spray keep this soil moist all the time and I also like to cover it up just like that so then I don't have to mist it daily I keep these in my kitchen where I get morning sunlight and they are just loving it there once they have some roots they don't really need to rely on the leaf part they can survive on their own what I do with this leftover leaf I don't throw it away I just place it back in here it's really interesting that they can start growing another baby. Here's an example over here. I already cut a little baby from this leaf and put it in here and it's growing another baby again. See, this is really fun. You can just keep on growing. If you are looking to get a fairly good sized plant, I would suggest that you start from the stem cutting, not from the leaf, because leaf can take long time to grow tiny babies. And then from there, when you transplant them in soil, they can take long time to grow up into a good sized plant. If you are a beginner and want to propagate, you can start with jade plants. They are very forgiving. They're very, very easy. If you like to know how to get them to grow faster, I have a video about it. Please feel free to check it out. I will link it in the description box below and also on the screen. If I miss anything, please let me know in the comment box below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.